Hey folks, so I've got a video today that should either appeal to everyone or it should appeal to no one. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but so anyway, the first half of this video is the final PBR battle of my Sydney team. Um, for those of you who've been watching from the beginning or who've gone through my archive, the Sydney team was the first team that I posted on this channel. Um, it's a UU doubles team um, and it's gone through a lot, a lot of changes over the, um, the months. I think Steelix is the, and Rotom are the only two Pokemon who uh, haven't been switched out or rebred or anything. But uh, anyway, I decide that um, Sydney's last PBR battle will be uh, the place where her first battle was, uh, Sunset Coliseum. Um, and I'm leading off with the, um, a slightly different team than I usually do. Uh, I'm using Rotom and Charizard, um, but I decide, based on the fact that there's a Gyarados out, that Charizard's probably not the best choice. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into Lantern. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to have Rotom do Discharge, even though it's not going to affect um, my enemy Sandslash, um, because I really want to get that Gyarados dead. Um, and, you know, Lantern's not going to mind the Discharge. So, uh, Rotom goes ahead and discharges, and it's super duper effective against Gyarados, and Gyarados is taken out in one hit. I was fearing maybe he had a Wacom Berry, but, mm, wasn't really sure. Um, but anyway, Sandslash sets up Stealth Rock, which I thought was really strange. Maybe he had, you know, maybe he, this was a Roar team, but, you know, for 4v4, Stealth Rocks is kind of limited in what it can do. Anyway, I decided I'm going to take out Sand Slash uh, with Hydro Pump, um, but I'm not quite sure if it's faster than my Lantern, depending on whether he'd EV trained in speed. So I go ahead and use Shadow Ball to just, you know, overkill. Um, gotta really hope that he doesn't protect. Anyway, uh, Jolton uses Hidden Power, gets a crit against Lantern, and a super effective hit, so I'm like, well, is that Hidden Power Grass or Hidden Power Ground? Um, and so I'm kind of thinking about that. Anyway, uh, Shadow Ball does not one-hit KO. Uh, that was actually a stupid move on my part. That really should have, that Shadow Ball should have been aimed at, uh, Jolteon. Because Hydro Pump, assuming it didn't miss, is, was gonna one-hit KO. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm doing pretty well. None of my Pokemon have fainted, and I've taken down, down two of his guys. And my opponent sends out Absol. I'm like, oh, jeez, I've had such bad luck with Absol in the past. Anyway, I'm switching out Lantern. And I decide that I think he's going to sucker punch me, and so I go for a substitute. But if he decides to snatch, I'm screwed. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just really hoping that I correctly predicted that he's going to um, sucker punch. And yes, I was totally right. Um, and so that was an excellent prediction on my part. Uh, Jolteon attacked Steelix. Luckily, it was Hidden Power Grass, not Hidden Power Ground. Hidden Power Ground would have been super effective. Although, I don't think it would have done too much to Steelix, who's bulky as anything. Um, anyway, uh, proceeding on here, uh, Steelix recovers with some leftovers, um, and I'm going to go ahead and Earthquake to take out Jolteon, um, while I Hidden Power fighting against Absol for the super effective hit. Um, Jolteon uses Shadow Ball. Um, I was expecting uh, Absol to do something like Sucker Punch. Uh, you know, had Absol Sucker Punched and then... Um, What's your name? What's his name? Uh, Jolteon Shadow Ball. That might have been a one-hit KO uh, because the Sucker Punch would have easily taken out my sub. But uh, that's not what he chose to do. Absol decided to use Super Power, um, which against Steelix, who's one of the physically the bulkiest Pokemon in the game, uh, you know, not necessarily the best move. Maybe he thought I was, you know, I'm, maybe he thought I, considering how well I took that Hidden Power, um, that uh, my defense wasn't as high. I don't know. But, um, it's, I mean, Steelix has min defense, uh, well, I mean, not zero IVs, but, uh, or minus, uh, defense nature, but still. So anyway, uh, Earthquake is enough to take both of his Pokemon out, and I have won the battle. Um, and so a really nice note to, um, leave this team on. Um, yeah, she just wasn't really cutting it competitively anymore. Uh, not that she was really cutting it competitively to begin with. Uh, and... When I was thinking about my 5th gen uh, doubles team, I thought that Sydney was a pretty good option. So there are two modifications. I have taken out Charizard and I have taken out uh, Gardevoir. Uh, replaced Gardevoir with a Telepathy Masharna. Um, because, uh, but eventually, once uh, Ralts is released in the Dream World, uh, it'll be Telepathy uh, Gardevoir. Um, but anyway, the, and then uh, instead of Charizard, I have a 
uh, Hihi Daruma, also known in, in English as Darmanitan. Oh, then the other difference is, of course, that Rotom is um, is now a Frost Rotom, uh, so I can spam me some blizzards. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, based on his team, I'm figuring, you know, definitely want to get off the Discharge, um, but uh, not really sure what else I want to do. Um, oh, I, I want to top the Trick Room. This is a full-blown Trick Room team now, rather than a... Um, rather than kind of a Michi Michi sort of trick room team like I had before. Um, I have no idea what that little sound I made was. Anyway, um, so telepathy means that uh, I am, my side is immune to, uh, or sorry, telepathy means that Misharna is immune to any attacks that Rotom or anyone else on my team will use. So I've got, you know, Earthquake on one guy or two guys, I don't remember. But anyway, it's a really good ability, but I wasn't predicting the taunt. I also wasn't predicting that to be, uh, uh, which one should I call it, Zorark, uh, although maybe I should have. Um, I guess I could have seen it on the selection screen, but anyway, uh, he uses Dark Pulse against Rotom, which I'm like, ha ha, yeah, you, well, you thought he was a ghost, um, but uh, because, yeah, Rotom in the 5th gen, um, the Rotom forms no longer are electric ghosts, they're electric and then whatever their uh, ability type is. But so anyway, uh, I get taken out um, by a Stone Edge, which was super effective. Um, so that wasn't really the best thing in the world. Um, and I should have picked up at this point that Gardevoir, not Gardevoir, that Gyarados is spamming protects. And so I really shouldn't be attacking it unless it's a you know field effect move. Um, Steelix is uh, taken down to its sturdy ability. Yeah, so this is actually a rebreed of um, Hatterak. It's still nicknamed Hatterak. But um, it was rebred for the sturdy ability. There's pretty much no difference otherwise, um, except for slight differences in EV training. Um, but uh, the, because sturdy is like the best ability of Gen 5, uh, it's essentially a free focus sash. Um, so Steelix has another item. I think it's a power something or power weight um, because um, to just lower its speed lower so it can use uh, a more powerful gyro ball or so can do a lot of other stuff. Anyway, I am having really bad luck setting up my, uh, tri my, whatchamacallit, my trick room because he's just flinching me up the wazoo. Um, but yeah, so Lantern does boiling water to finally take out that, uh, really annoying, uh, uh, Infernape. Oh, at this point I just want to have a little shout out to all those complete and total jerkwads that I faced in, um, Gen 5 random matches who the second the battle would go against them, or the second they lost the match, would disconnect. Yeah, uh, Nintendo needs to do something about the freaking assholes who disconnect on uh, random Wi-Fi, because it makes it completely uh, frustrating to play. I've had maybe 18 battles at this point, and my record is 1 and 6, 1 and 5. It's just ridiculous. Um, because the, I mean, because I guess they keep track of your rating, and it depends. It affects who your opponents are, um, but uh, uh, so if you disconnect before the, you know, the end screen, you know, it doesn't count against you. Um, but what, you know, I don't really care about my ranking. That's fine. The thing that annoys me to, uh, and is making me, you know, pull my hair out is that I can't record any of the battles if they disconnect because you're only asked to um, whether you want to save the battle video at the end. Um, so anyway, some some things that I've glossed over here. I think I finally got the trick room off. Unfortunately, I get para uh, I paralyzed his guy. Um, and Lantern survived uh, uh, Grass Knot with 5 HP, so that's pretty darn awesome. Um, and uh, anyway, now that he is, um, what should I call it? Well, now that uh, Empoleon is uh, paralyzed, it's slower than anything, and I'm just trying to take it out. Um, I basically foddered Lantern because I knew it was going to get taken out. Um, but luckily, now that I'm sending out Steelix, uh, who's only got one HP, it'll be going first, uh, and hopefully I can do something to KO some people. Yeah, I decided that I just really want that, um, that, what's, that Empoleon dead. Um, oh, by the way, has, uh, I hope you've all noticed, uh, the really awesome battle music here. Um, this is not your standard, uh, VS, um, recorder battle music. This is, jeez. Oh, the legendary battle music, I have an AR code for changing the music, which unfortunately I can't use in Dismoomi, which is the emulator that I use to record these battles. Um, 
but I can use it for um, on my DS, so I can I basically hook up my DS to my computer to get the audio on, and then I do a bunch of magic to try to get it on. Okay, so um, so this was stupid. I have Steelix running Knockdown because I think, oh, I got Knockdown knock down that I can use Earthquake. Um, that's just stupid. I mean, Knockdown has so little power. Um, you know, I really should be going for Rock Slide for the flinch or Stone Edge for the power. And I have since, I think, edited Steelix so that uh, it has Rock Slide. But anyway, so now it's down to the last two Pokemon. I have Musharna, he has Gyarados. Yeah, I still <laughs> managed to take that thing out. And anyway, I've got a Trick Room uh, going, so I am faster, and uh, Musharna is bulky as anything based on how I've IV, uh, uh, EV trained it. And so uh, I, um, I also have Moonlight on this set, or as I call it, Moonlight, because... No, because it's Dave Alfarmer's Muna. Anyway, sorry, that was a really bad pun. Anyway, I do manage to KO him. He decided that he was just going to take the loss um, and not try to outstall me or anything. And so, good game, opponent, and so long.